so if you're here for grassroots, I'm afraid it's gone. They ask you, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But don't worry, be happy. We're at Bolton. That's going to be nice, isn't it? What could possibly go wrong? So here we are, Bolton, League One. It's uh, it's a challenge. A lot of people know they've not had the greatest of times. The poor staff haven't been played. You know, uh, played? They haven't been played. Brilliant. Haven't been paid. And uh, yeah, they're not in the greatest of shapes. But we're here to turn that around. And I'm confident we're going to do it. First of all, let's have a look at the money. Ah. Well, we knew there was going to be financial. It's not about the money in the bank. It's about the points you get on the table. Oh. All right. It's not about the money in the bank or the points on the table. It's about the squad that you have to claw it back and push yourselves on to that next level. Ah, sh Oh, there is a bit of a bonus. There, there are players in the under-23s. I mean, there's Ben Williams. Brilliant. To be fair, there's a few young players that we might be able to get away with at this level. We'll have to wait and see whether they're going to be good enough to push us on and get us back from 12 points deficit. I, I don't really know. I don't think so. But yeah, I mean... It's going to be a challenge. This is going to be, yeah, well done. Let's stop, let's stop grassroots to greatness because, you know, it's the wrong time of year to do it. Yeah, okay, we'll stop it. What should we do instead? Let's manage Bolton. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Let's manage Bolton with about seven players and a load of kids and no money and a 12-point deficit in League One. Marvellous. Marvellous. I mean, I don't know where I come up with the ideas. I really don't. So let's just go through and have a little look at the players that we've got left, shall we? Former England under-21 international David Rita, he's stuck around. He's just took it on the chin and stuck around. I mean, God bless him. God bless him. He uh, he, co he could have gone, couldn't he? Let's be honest. He could have gone, but he may still go. I may have to get rid of him. He may just want to go. I don't know. But yeah, so he's a defender. That's one. I mean, Ben Olnick's still here. Is he still going to be here in a couple of... I mean, he's wanted by Sheffield United in the Premier League. Well, we'll be saying bye to him then, won't we? Oz Toomer, the man who... I mean, he left Warsaw in all good faith and he was having a nice time at Warsaw. Look what's happened. He's got relegated with Bolton, not been paid. Warsaw got relegated. Look at the mess. He's left everybody in. I mean, oh, he, he's, I mean, he's going to be a very good player for us. He's going to be a very good player for us. I feel, I feel like he's going to be the one man that could be a shining light for us. Scratch that. My, my man. My boy. Luke Murphy. Luke Murphy. All the memories I have of him in a crew shirt. Such a lovely player. Such a great guy. I'm, he's my boy. He's captain. Super. He's going to be everything. David Wheater. Pff, Luke Murphy's my man. All over. We've got Jason Lowe. Because we've got Jason Lowe. We've got boom, boom. Jason Lowe. I mean, he's a bit aggressive and he's very brave. He's going to get sent off a lot, isn't he? Let's be honest. Josh McGinnis. McGinnis. I mean, he's he's a unit. And uh, didn't he used to? Isn't he the one that used to be a goalkeeper? And then um, yeah, his goalkeeper rate is five. I mean, the way it's going, if we lose the goalkeepers, at least we know we can put him in, I suppose. But again, another player. He left Charlton to come to Bolton. I mean, these some of these people have made some bad life choices. I'm not being disrespectful to Bolton, but the mess the club's been in for the past couple of years. Some of them have made some dire, dire choices in their careers. He's even, he's even a little goalkeeper. Look at that. Remy Matthews. He seems to have been around forever, but he's only 24. He is only 24. My God, how is he only 24? So we've got, we've got Olmick, Matthews, Williams, and. Basically, Magenis, who can all play in goal as well. But we're, goalkeeper wise, we're solid. We are solid. So, yeah, they're the first team players. Um, these are the friendlies. I've, I've started it late on to get as close as today's date. We're at the end of July now to get as close to today's date as possible. Um, I, did, I could have come in at the beginning of the season. I mean, that's not a very nice start, is it? It's which you're home. That's going to be difficult. Oh, we've got. Oh, dear. <coughs> Ah, sorry, excuse me. I just um, threw up in my mouth a little bit there. Uh, we've got them in the Carabao Cup. So, yeah, this is going to be a wonderful start to the season. We're going to get dicked by Ipswich, probably lose to Wickham, and then get knocked out of the cup by them. Marvellous. I mean, we, we've got more staff than we've got players. Maybe some of them can play. Maybe some of them can step in. Tim Breacher, I bet he could still give us a game. Nicky Spooner, he knocked the ball around a bit in his day. He used to play for Manchester United back in the very early days. Look at that. He's got a bit of pedigree. 47, do a job at centre-back. I'm going to try and get Andre Dezel on loan from Ipswich. I mean, why not? I mean, should we sign Nico Cranjo? 
We might as well, mightn't we? Should we get him in? Let's get him on a trial. Let's give him a trial. Nico Crankjar on a trial. I mean, we might have to employ Harry Redknapp for him to join, but, you know, we'll offer him a go anyway. <gasps> Joe Tessum. We could sign Joe Tess. No, remember? Just remember what happened to Atherston. He was a whingy motherfucker. I mean, desperate times. Desperate times. Let's offer him a trial. Why, why the hell not? Why the hell not? We've got nothing to lose. He's got he's got 33 goals in 50 games. It's Super John Parkin. I mean, oof it to him. Head it in. Okay, I mean, his, his fitness is terrible. He's got good strength, though. Talk me out of this, please, in the comments down below. Talk me out of signing John Parkin, please. I'm, I'm panicking a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Having watched him play for crew, no thank you. I just got very excited. I saw Tom Ince was available on a free and I was like, well, I'll have a bit of that. And then I looked at him and I thought, no, I won't. I hate this pricker. I hate him. Who wants him? They can have him. I'm only doing this for Adam on YouTube. I need to remember to put a picture on when the video has gone live to show him what I'm doing. But that's the only reason I'm doing it. I mean, I don't expect anything from this at all. He's, he's poor. But hey, who knows? Who knows? They're introducing ourselves to the players. I mean, it's not going to be a busy meeting, is it? We could do it in McDonald's, let's be fair. I've told them we can beat the drop and they're happy with that. So that's a bonus. I was expecting a bit of a backlash, but they understand what's going on. That makes a change. So yeah, this is what the board want from us, by the way. I forgot to show you this earlier. Fight bravely against relegation. The board has taken into account the points deduction, which will make it harder. No, no shit, Sherlock. Uh, third round of that, second round of that, with a budget of this and that. So... At least they're not expecting too much. That's a bonus, I guess. I mean, John Parkin's coming on trial and Koncheski, so we're already improved. Crankshaw's arrived. We're starting to build a team now, boys. We're starting to build a team. I mean, we've somehow managed to scrape together a team to send on a little training camp. I don't know how, but we've managed it. I mean, who the hell's Eddie Brown? Who is he? He's 17. I mean, he's... Oh, actually, he's not bad. Oh, oof, oof. What are they? On the plus side, Andre Dezel's joined us on loan for the season, so that's a big boost. I'm happy with that one. I mean, they've told us to uh, register our squad. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Jesus. Despite everything that's going on, though, we are expected by the media experts to finish ninth. If we can pull that off, I'll... I'll I mean, I don't know what I'll do. I'll do something, and it'll be marvellous. So, we're playing Forest Green away. <laughs> We don't have a recognised right back, literally no right back, so I need to find a right back. I also need to find somebody who can play central defence because we're a bit short there. Uh, the two central midfield roles were pretty set for until we get an injury and then we're screwed. There's got the trial list of Koncheski, Abomlahor, <laughs> John Parkin and Nico Granchar in the team. I mean, we're going to destroy them. So here we are at Gre the Green Valley as I like to call it, vegan town. And we're, oh dear, we're a bit far away, aren't we? Let's get uh, let's get down to our usual level. And before I forget, let's turn off that because that does my head in. Popping up with scores over there. Luke Murphy though, we're underway. Let's see what this holds. He's a bomblehor. He's running at him. He's uh, uh, well, that was that was peak bomblehor right there. Here come Forest Green. Spray out wide. Send it in. Oh, he saved it. That surprises me. I ain't made no changes at half time because there ain't no point. Here's Luke Murphy. What can he do? We've got our bomb Lahore in acres of space. Here he is. I mean, I don't quite understand what that was, but it's found Crankshaw. And that's poor. I mean, these are former Premier League players. That is a lovely ball. Oh, we were lucky there. My God. I mean, this guy, he, he concerns me. I just don't feel cut. And he does. I mean, I'm worried every time he gets the ball, to be honest. Here we go. We've worked a bit of space with Crankshaw. Go on, send it in, son. Oh, he's down. Brilliant. Now they're on the attack. It's all going brilliantly. It's going fantastically well. I mean, we've got players on trial who look disinterested. I mean, what sort of a... Oh, you've got to be a special kind of stupid to come to a club and be disinterested. I've literally changed everybody I possibly could. Just in the vain hope that we can do something. We tried to, we're trying to fashion something. I mean, the hope is there. Go on, Luke Murphy. Here's Kelly. Lovely ball. Oh, Sterling. He scored. Damarillo. Damarillo Sterling. He has scored a lovely, lovely volley. 
I was looking at him uh, when I wasn't recording. I was having a little look at him, and I thought, oh, I like the look of him. So I'll give him a go in this friendly. He's got, look at that, stepping backwards and all. Beautiful. Because we've got Dan Marillo Sterling. It don't work, does it? It don't work. Here he is, though. Oh, he's running at him. I like him. Go on. Magenis. Oh, just over the top. Just over the top. They've got a free kick. That's over the top. I can cope with that. I mean, I'm, I'm stressing about this as if it's a, a meanful game. Oh, he snuck it in. How's he done that? The cheeky bugger. You've got to ask questions of the goalkeeper there. You simply have to ask questions for the goalkeeper there. Lovely nod down. Nice little touch. Then just rolls it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Taxi for Ward. Connell again. Oh, I thought, he'd, I thought he'd done him again. They come in. We've got rid of him. Oh, we haven't. Oh, that was close. Oh, squeaky bum time, that. The interesting thing is we are playing better with this cobbled together sort of under 23s players than we were with the Charlie. Connell, he's got it. Get in. Luca Connell's come on, done well in that position. I'm liking the look of Luca Connell. We'll have a bit of him, I think. But well, we're 3-1 up now. Uh, this second half has been far better. Far, far better. Oh, lovely from Connell. He's had a cracking game. Here's Murphy. Dazelle. Oh, save, but Luke Murphy's there. Super Luke. Super Luke. Did you know that Murphy had a pigeon? A pigeon, a pigeon. Murphy had a pigeon. A pigeon he had. He flew it all day and he flew it all night. He flew it over Wrexham. It did a big shite. Because he had a pigeon. A pigeon he had. Huzzah! Victory! I'm just going to passionately tell them that I'm just going to treat them like they've won the league. I'm just going to treat them like it was the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Uh, you are coming up to the first team now, my friend. You have earned your stripes today. That's what he looks like, if you're wondering. Nothing spectacular, but there was just something about him that I liked. It's probably because his surname's Sterling, to be honest. Then he's only out for one day. So that's not a tragedy, is it? Let's be honest. It's not. A I keep saying, let's be honest. What do I keep saying, let's be honest? Why well, am I going to lie? Am I lying? Saying, oh yeah, one day is not that bad. Lies. Pure lies. I wanted two days. Anywho, uh, we've had some terrible signings. We've had a good game. Uh, we've learnt that Sterling can shoot a volley into the back of the goal. So that's nice. We've learnt that Connell's an absolute monster in front of, uh, in front of goal as well. So it's been a learning curve today. Please remember to hit the like or dislike. You're free to do so. I don't really care. Um, leave a little comment as well. Let me know. What do you think? How, how do you reckon we'll do this season? Predictions. Comments. Predictions. Come on. Let's be having it. Uh, and also, please remember to subscribe if you're new here. Hit the bell. That'll let you know my videos go live. It's a magical, wonderful thing that technology in 2019 has thrust upon you. Like a, a piece of cheese thrown in your face that's gone very well hasn't it but for now guys you'll be glad to know i'm out of time and uh, yeah ta for now